So I just got a big box of eBay junk and it will be curious to see how many uh, cars I can fix. The locomotives, I looked at them, they're no good. And I've got all these other freight cars to put together. I paid 50 bucks for the, this box with the shipping. So if I can get five cars put together, then I'll be happy. This is my box of locomotives. There's not much good in there. Um, this is a frame for an RS3 or maybe a GP9 or RS11. They use these types of frames. Uh, there's no motor. Um, it's got gears from one locomotive, gears from another locomotive. There's not much to do with that. Although the wheels can be reused, uh, sometimes get a locomotive with worn wheels. So I'm going to set that aside. Although the insert here, I'm going to use on this guy right here. I got the locomotive with uh, no insert, so I'm going to reuse the insert. So that makes this locomotive look like it's been much better taken care of. So there's not much left in the box, except for this little guy. This is a lifelike GP9 chassis. There's lots of them for sale. They're not uh, very expensive. And uh, the, there's a couple of parts from the shell. But whatever that's worth. Um, it's full of dog hair, or cat hair, I can't really tell. So it's going to need a lot of cleaning. Uh, let me show you a close-up of the cat hair. Yeah, so there's going to be lots of work uh, needed to make this run. But when I hook up my test leads, it does run. So it's not completely useless. And there's no uh, GP9 shell, but there's a BL2 shell. The BL2 shell is a little bit long compared to the uh, GP9 chassis. But I'm going to put them together just for the sake of saying that I got a locomotive uh, out of the, the, the box. There won't be much of a locomotive, but hey, why not? So I hooked up my test lead. Just, just so you can see that it does run and uh, the lights does work so that's going to be a challenge so this happens often um, as you use your train you know cat hair dog hair carpet uh, scenery from whatever gets in there and uh, prevents the gears from turning so I'm going to disassemble this share with you some, some of my tips for cleaning uh, this is not like a split, split frame locomotive. It's got uh, wires soldered in from the wheels to the engine to the light. So it's a little bit more work to clean. I'm planning out a video on uh, locomotives that are affordable on eBay but still uh, run great. This locomotive won't be on there. They don't run that great. So the first part is taking out the trucks.